Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining me today for day 10. I can't believe it's day 10. Day 10 of our 21 day self love challenge. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, how are y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you are keeping up with all the activities leading up to today's self-love act i hope that the release that we did during our last session was helpful for you it was very helpful for me letting go of external validation is so critical in our lives and something that we seek all the time that brings us down that keeps us away from our divine and uh, our higher selves keeps us from attaining our higher selves and keeps us out of alignment with our higher selves because if we keep if we keep seeking other people's validation of us that is out of alignment in who we are called to become so i hope that activity was beneficial for you as it was for me today we're going to be jumping right into our 10th self-love act which is getting fully present getting fully present let me take the volume down so getting fully present is very important for us as empaths, as super, super sensitive beings, as divine feminine, because you cannot live a powerful and impactful life when you are not present in the here and now. When you're not present, you are either living in the past, dwelling on the past, or you are living in the future. And by either doing either of these things, we're not here. You're not here living life powerfully and living life fully and effectively. You can't be effective if you are not here in the present. So as a powerful, divine feminine, our self-love act for today is coming into the here and now, bringing the spirit back into the body. We do this through meditation. We do this through mindfulness. Mindfulness, mindfulness is a practice. When you talk about meditation, mindfulness, that's coming into the present, getting fully present in the here and now. So when I talk about getting fully present, how can we accomplish this? You can accomplish getting fully present by finding five things that you can perceive in the here and now, utilizing all five senses that you, um, of, your, of your body, of your physical body. So I'm talking about your um, sight, I'm talking about your auditory perceptions, hearing, feeling, uh, tasting, touching. What I normally like to do is to narrow it down to five things I can see. Like right now I can see the sunlight through the window. I can see my Christmas tree. I can see the pillow on the couch in front of me. I can see the carpet. I can see my plant. Five things I can touch. I can touch my crystal bowl, my sound bowl. I can touch these, this um, mallet. I can touch a tablet. I can touch the laptop. I can touch the carpet. So the, this activity helps to bring you back to the present and take you out of the past or future. And when you're in the present, that's when you can be able to manifest. So when the spirit is inside of the body, 
meaning when your spirit is not dwelling in the past or the future, that is when you are able to manifest because we manifest in the present. We don't manifest in the future. You don't manifest in the past. You manifest your reality. You manifest your 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 world in the here and now. So it, it, the, the requirement, uh, the criteria for you to be able to manifest is to be fully whole and completely present, completely present. So that takes for you to get quiet, get still, and be able to get rid of any angst, any fear, any anxiety. When you're feeling fear, you are not here in the here and now. So that takes your spirit out of your body when you're worrying and you, you don't feel like yourself. You don't feel present when you are fearful. So it's letting go of fear. It's also letting go, freeing your body of anxiety. And that's why I talk about meditation. When you meditate and when you get still, when you get silent, and you do your breath work, your deep breathing. The heart rate slows down. You're activating your parasympathetic nervous system. And that helps to relax your body. And then you are coming into the here and now. So you release any fear any anxiety, any worries, let it go, surrender. Surrender it back into the universe. Trust in a higher power than yourself that God has everything, whatever it is, Allah, God, the creator, mother, father, creator, that the Almighty, the one who has everything in the palm of his hands, has you, has everything in control, and everything is perfectly and divinely aligned for your higher good. And you have to trust and believe that, that all is well, all is well, and you are divinely guided, you are divinely protected, you are surrounded, and you are magnificently guided, protected, aligned with a higher power, with God's divine plan for your life. So there's no reason to fear. Everything is perfectly unfolding for your higher good and you need to trust, believe that, and surrender. Do your deep breathing, deep breath in, and release. Deep breath in. All is well. I am perfectly and divinely guided. I am powerful beyond measure. I am loving and I am loved. I love myself unconditionally. I am divinely guided. I am present in the here and now. fully present in the here and now. So ground yourself, my beloved. Ground yourself. Come back to center.
I'm gonna play a song to also get us in the mood of gratitude and abundance, prosperity. This is Lord Drow, you are enough. Take your time, nurture your soul, embrace the hash, work through the lows, ask for yourself, work on your goals, just take a breath, let go of it grow, it can't rain forever, it won't feel this pain forever, I promise you can change for better, I know people change, and things change for better, yeah, I know times is kinda tough right now, Showing love right now. You a diamond in the rough right now. Love yourself, know your worth. You enough right now. I share it. I share your share. Can you rather be in love right now? All right. But you a diamond in the rough right now. Love yourself. You are enough right now. I share right now. Get present right now. Love yourself. Right now, oh, right you now. are enough right now. I share, we give thanks, gratitude for the ups, the lows, gratitude in health and sickness, gratitude in life and death, gratitude for our world right now, gratitude for our global condition. Gratitude for the lessons. There are lessons and blessings from test to testimony. You're enough right now. I share. Thank you for joining me for day 10. I love you. You are supported. You are divinely guided. You got this. See you tomorrow for day 11.